Hi, my name is Chris Berry, and I am a Principal Technical Instructor here at Okta. Uh, I hold a number of certifications at Okta, uh, including the Certified Developer. That's a new certification that we recently offered last year. Uh, and I also have the Professional, the Administrator, and the Certified Consultant Certification. Uh, I teach a number of courses here at Okta. Our Customer Identity for Developers, which is a three-day class, uh, which is all about using Okta's APIs for customer identity use cases. Uh, and then also single sign-on with OpenID Connect, API Access with OAuth, Automated Lifecycle Management with Skim, uh, and then a number of our administrator-oriented courses. Uh, I've been here for over five years now, and I teach both our workshops publicly, uh, so ones that uh, uh, multiple people from different organizations can enroll in, uh, or uh, I also teach private workshops where I visit a specific customer and really focus on their topics. I'd like to talk to you about what we'll be covering in our OpenID course. That we're uh, we're going to go over the OpenID Connect specification and how it can be used to do federated authentication into your applications or your sites. When you do this with multiple applications, what you're able to do is to achieve federated single sign-on. So a really uh, both secure and fluid experience for your users. Uh, this uh, specification, OpenID Connect, supports multiple platforms. So you can have server-based web apps, single page apps, native mobile or desktop apps. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to request tokens how to receive those tokens, parse them, validate them, and ultimately to use those tokens to provide that automated access for those users using all that identity information that we're passing around. Uh, this can be applied to both workforce identity and customer identity situations. So it's equally valid. Uh, you know, you're going to want to do federated uh, authentication for you know, both those uh, external sites but also those internal apps. And so it's a great introduction to how to uh, apply this specification to update those applications. Uh, this is a developer-oriented course. You don't necessarily have to know how to program, though, if you're a part of a development project that is going to be uh, applying these standards to your applications for the purpose of federated authentication. I think you're going to get a ton out of taking this class. But, uh, like I said, we're going to show you how to apply those standards to do that federated authentication. Uh, you know, whatever type of application, make it secure and easy uh, and seamless for those end users. All right, uh, I would like to now take uh, a brief moment to just kind of show you what we cover, what we have you do in the single sign-on neighbor your apps and sites. Uh, with OpenID Connect course. Let me start by saying that we split up the process of doing federated single sign-on into uh, the following steps, which is to say you, you do primary authentication, uh, which is log in with a username and password. After that, you establish a session with Okta. Okta creates a cookie associated with your unique Okta domain. Uh, and then uh, you then perform the process for federated authentication uh, in which you request the identity information for the current user uh, and Okta sends that to you in the form of, at least in the case of OpenID Connect, in the form of an ID token. In this one day class, what we do is we focus on that federated authentication step. Uh, and so we show you how to retrieve, validate, parse, uh, and you know, in general work with those ID tokens in a uh, secure fashion so that the experience of your end users uh, is uh, seamless, uh, easy, you know, they don't uh, have to log in again with another username and password, and it's also more secure. All right, so uh, what we do is we, in this class, we start with an application uh, that has no protection to it. It's a completely public, uh, you know, app. Now, in your case, you might have existing apps that have authorization logic so that when a user navigates to a protected area, they need to authenticate with a username and password. You could uh, update those applications. One of our, our primary goals here 
is to show people uh, how to update those applications so that you're not prompting your user to sign in again. Uh, instead, you're using uh, a specification like OpenID Connect to then simply request the ID token after the user has done that single sign-on before. So in this case, we start with an application where nothing is protected. So if I go here to these different tabs, uh, you know, I can simply uh, access them. Now, uh, in the class, what we do is we update this application to protect the uh, My Profile page and the Premium Promos page. And we do it in two ways. So the first way that we do it is in a, a customer identity use case where we display a custom user interface for doing the init initial sign-in. So for instance here, if I click on My Profile, what happens? is I get redirected over to a custom user interface, so you're not getting redirected directly to Okta. This will be your user experience for logging in. Let me just log in right here, like so. Uh, and then what happens is because uh, at the end of the class we've updated this application for federated authentication, it can now request the ID token and what we're able to do is then use that identity information. In our case, what we do is we simply store it in session storage uh, uh, since our focus is the, uh, you know, the Open ID Connect pieces. We also do it in a workforce identity context. So uh, on port 8081, I have it running in a customer identity context. In 8080, I have it running in a, uh, a workforce identity context. Um, so the thing about this is that when I do this, normally what would happen if you think about using Okta in a workforce identity situation, you would get redirected over to Okta, you would need to authenticate, uh, and then you would uh, you know, uh, be logged into the application that you were originally requesting. In this case, because I've already established a session with Okta, so I've already done primary authentication, I've established the session with Okta, when I then demo this on another version of this app running on a different port, what's going to happen is that Okta is just going to immediately return the ID token to this application. Just so you know, it is a different ID token. Uh, it's just the same app that I've cloned uh, across two sites. Um, but uh, you know, this is single sign-on in action. We are not challenging the user to sign in to this application, uh, and so. Uh, you know, using the uh, Open ID Connect spec, we basically uh, simply, because we already have the session, request the ID token uh, and then use it uh, within the application. Uh, so yeah, so it's all about taking your apps and sites, updating them so that users are no longer having to log in multiple times and instead using those uh, uh, specifications like Open ID Connect. I uh, love to see you in class, and I think uh, uh, this would be, uh, you know, I think uh, all your users would appreciate learning how to do this uh, for your apps and sites. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in class someday. We have a lot of great courses for developers uh, the customer identity for developers, the single sign on with OpenID Connect, and uh, API access with OAuth, OAuth, and we'd love to see you in class. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.